In a previous uh, video, we've created this filters array, which contains a set of different filters for different uh, form fields. In this video, what we're going to do is to add the search method so that we can actually search for the books uh, using these filters uh, defined in the previous uh, videos. Okay, so uh, where are we going to add it? Well, we could add it directly to the book class, but uh, if we want to later on use the search with any other class, let's say if you're going to have a section for categories only and you would like to search categories, then you wouldn't be able to do it. You would have to duplicate all the methods and so on. So the best thing to do it would be to put it in a parent class, which is this model uh, class here. And this is exactly where we're going to do it. So we're going to start with the public function search. It will take two arguments. First one will be the instance of the search class, uh, search, and the second will be array of filters. And what we are going, let's just add the doc block here. It will return itself this, so we can chain method let's, later on after we've made call to this search method. And for the summary, get a filtered uh, list of records. Okay, we're going to start first by checking if search has uh, any items within a collection. So if search is collection empty, then obviously we know there is no, there are no items if a collection is empty. So we return itself this, so we can chain later on uh, other methods on the same instance. Otherwise, we are going to use the for each statement search, and we go for the collection, which will have all of these items collected from. Uh, the request from the from when we've submitted the form and then key equals value and what we're going to do within this for each statement we simply add uh, each of these items uh, with the filter so add filter and we add filters then looking for the given key and then pass the value through as the second argument we don't have this method yet we're going to add it in just a moment but let's just return this after all this so we have this search method completed now let's add this add filter method and now add filter method takes the key which is actually going to be uh, this key here is actually returning the filter because these filters as you may remember if we go back to our search each of these keys will return the filter instance so we can type hint it as filter here rather than key it's going to be a filter and that's just filter database filter and then filter name for this uh, argument here. Now the value might be anything, might be integer, it might be string. So let's keep it without actually type hinting. And uh, let's start with filter and we run filter method on it, passing the value. And as you may remember, if you just click on this field, so what happens here, it clears, the first of all, statement of values, and then goes through all the queries that it's collected, uh, and then obviously add statement and the value to these two properties, obviously, of the, of the array type. So later on, we can use them uh, with our statement. Okay, so we filtered this, and now we go this, add statement values another method which we'll create in just a second and we use filter values now that we have them available let's quickly create this method as well add statement values and that statement values is going to simply add this statement values array uh, sorry not like this we're going to do it like this array merge we are going to merge this statement values with values because these values here, if we just type hint it, is going to be of the array type. As you may remember, this filter values returns values, basically whatever's associated with this property and this property is of the array type. That's why we obviously type hinting this here. And then we are merging this with the existing statement values rather than adding this to, uh, to the array. This is to uh, avoid situations where we have two uh, indexes with this uh, with the different values for instance if we have one field already in a in a statement values then this array merge will override uh, this uh, existing one with the new one which has been potentially passed through with this values array okay let's add some dog blocks to this add statement values uh, it doesn't return anything so return void and add value uh, for the statement and now going back to our add filter method 
after this art statement values we go we check in if empty this statement which would indicate that this is the first uh, where clause statement that we are adding so we are going to run this at first statement method which we'll create in just a second and we pass the filter as an argument to this method now rather than having else statement again i don't like else statements so i'm just going to hit return here so that this statement once this empty statement uh, evaluated to true then obviously we uh, run this at first statement and then we terminate uh, execution of this method uh, otherwise we are going to go for this statement and we add a filter statement to it and because we are not passing true as the argument to the statement call uh, at this point obviously our filter will know that if there is any concatenation then we need to prepend the keyword say end or, or anything else that we might have associated with a given filter okay so uh, add first statement method let's add this one as well this is filter let's type hint it with the filter as well so we know exactly what we're dealing here with and our IDE can obviously help us uh, identify methods within the given class and here we're going to add statements we're going to first add the keyword where with the spaces on both sides and then this statement we are going to add filter statement as well but this time we set it to true indicating that this is the first uh, statement within the where clause so if there is any concatenate on the outside it should not be used so we're going to have where and then statement straight away without any end for instance after the where okay so this is our first statement let's add some dog blocks it uh, the param uh, filter and then it returns void so return void and let's just say add first uh, where statement okay and now add filter is now completed as well so let's add dog blocks to this one and again this one doesn't return anything and let's just say add the where filter and i think that's everything for now so what we need to do now in order to test it let's just go to our search uh, .php file and now rather than books what we are going to do is use search then we are going to pass the search instance which uh, we've instantiated here uh, after this what we are going to do is pass the filters then if you want to order these records by something let's just use order by method we can do it because search uh, method returns if we go back to the search method as you can remember it returns this which is instance of itself so we can straight after uh, use any of the other methods that we have available within this class so we can chain them in other words order by say title and then let's use method all to get all of the records now one other thing it's not going to work yet because we are passing here to the search instantiation this constructor we are passing filters and we don't need filters here because that would return actually values of these filters and obviously then keys for the for the fields within the form but what we want here we only want the field names so what we need to do here is to use array keys to get just the keys of this array and we don't want to know about these filters within the search uh, class so that should now work just fine let's open our browser and test it and if you open our project in the browser you'll see first of all the fatal error unless you actually imported this book class because i've forgotten so let's go back to the uh, the editor we obviously need to import this book class so let's go here let's do right at the top use book which is going to be up model book if we save it go back now there we go the form is displayed now let's try and make some selection let's say we only want category art we have four books at the moment here if i hit search there we go there are no books available within the art category let's try comedy let's search for comedy nothing either horror there we go we've got two books which are within the horror category as you can see both of them display horror and then romance there we go another two books which belong to this category now if i want to reset i just hit this reset button and that basically redirects us back to the to uh to the domain without uh, any any query string uh, included okay so let's now try another thing let's say language we want only books in english all of them seem to uh, have english version let's try only hard cover type 
there we go so we have only english with hard, hard cover type but let's try we have french here and french here let's try change the language to french search we only have two books with french let's say we have uh, well the brighton london this one is also with brighton london southampton only so this should presumably return one record but it doesn't so something's not quite right let's quickly go back to our editor and how can we test it it would be nice if we could get the full sql statement that's been actually produced and in order to do this let's just move this new instantiation of a book uh, to a separate statement so we're going to have a book here equals new book and what we are going to do now rather than having this within the brackets we're going to use it for the search but before i do anything else let's go back to the model how can we obtain the full statement this all method which we've used if we just scroll up there we go this all method uses this full statement method which basically returns the entire sql statement for us now full statement method however is a private method so let's change it to public so we can actually call it from outside of this uh, class so if we go back to our search now rather than all let's just call full statement we're not appending anything because this all method doesn't pass any uh, arguments to it either so let's just call it like this and what i'm going to do is now books this should contain the statement and what i'm going to do is simply echo books and then exit so we only want to see the statement in the browser and if we refresh the page here's our statement now the last item here should be this uh, referring to the location so it's an exists select book id from book location where location id equals uh, it shouldn't be equals it should be actually uh, exists in because we're passing array of items okay let's go back to our editor and let's fix this problem so here rather than exists equals let's change this uh, subquery to exists in this is the one we after let's just import this class as well and one other thing we need to do if we just refresh now you'll see that we have location in but it's using a question mark the values should be automatically added to the statement when using this in statement so the next thing we need to do is to set this third argument to true to replace the values uh, within the the, the subquery basically so if we now go back refresh and as you can see now we have location id in and five is within the brackets so that should work better now if we now go back scroll down to the bottom remove this echo books and replace this full statement with all as it was before now we should get our single record here which is within the southampton in southampton actually okay so uh, it seemed to be working let's try year 2001 now we shouldn't get any re records and that's fine let's reset everything let's try only records from 2001 there we go we have two books within uh, which were released in 2001 uh next thing what else can we check let's search just do some search say black for this black hills there we go one book which matches this if i was to do uh say black end for instance that's not going to return anything because there's nothing much in this a uh, string a uh, category did author let's say darren shan there we go one book uh, let's reset everything and search by author nora uh, roberts we have one author here a uh, one book mr james stephanie mayer if we check the stephanie mayer now it should give us this book as well plus another one written by the same author so as you can see our filter now works only soft books for instance in the soft cover there we go there's only one if we uh, sh show all of them we can see there's only actually two of them but two different authors so let's try just soft again there we go now we get two records so as you can see it's all working fine now one thing i want to do uh, before we actually wrap up this search uh this filter uh, section let's go back to the editor i'm not quite sure uh, whether i like the fact that we have this array here with all these filters that seems quite a lot of stuff going into a single file basically uh, now obviously if we just go back we can remove now this instantiation here because we don't need multiple instances of this uh, well we don't need to use the instance of the book uh, multiple times within the same uh, file so we can just do it in line again the same way we did before uh, but I would like to uh, refactor this a little bit perhaps move all these filters to its own classes and then just call the class with the method here rather than having this long list of uh, array items so let's have a look at this refactoring in the following video